Our next speaker comes fresh off the bus from the countryside. She's our youngest talent, but you wouldn't believe it, right, Jonas? Yeah, she's like half my age and twice as articulate. Please welcome the bride, Matlena. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word hunting? Do you think of trophy hunting and poaching? Do you think of early humans with spears in their hands? Do you think of the mean guys who shot Bambi's mom? Or perhaps of the fella who saved Red Riding Hood and her grandma from the wolf? What comes to my mind is my dad. My dad is your average Finnish farmer who also raises pheasants, those birds, and organizes pheasant hunts. I think of working together with him at our family farm. I think of some of the early Sunday mornings from my childhood when I would go out hunting with him. I think of my family, relatives, family friends, all for whom hunting is a part of their lifestyle. But don't worry, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I know that hunting is about killing animals. That's a big part of it. However, that's not all there is to it. In fact, I argue that hunting in Finland is a crucial organized system and that human society, animals and nature need hunting. I realize it's easy to not see hunting as a necessity. Our relationship with nature is quite estranged and distant and artificial. And the meat that we eat, we can just buy from the store or replace with veggie substitutes. And we all strive to make good, ethical and sustainable food choices. For some people, that means buying local and organic meat. For some people, it means not eating meat at all, or at least cutting down their meat consumption. And for some people, it means killing the animal yourself. So that you know exactly where it came from, exactly what happened to it, and that you are responsible for its death. And I think responsibility is the key here. You see, we humans have taken and taken so much from our nature, our environment, our ecosystem. We've taken control, we've taken power, we've taken over. And whether that's justified or not, what we need to take is responsibility. For with great power comes great responsibility. And one way of taking that responsibility is with hunting and gamekeeping that goes along with hunting. Hunting in Finland is regulated by hunting laws and the Finnish Wildlife Agency. Hunting permits per area and hunting seasons for animals are dictated by the Wildlife Agency's yearly calculations to keep hunting sustainable. Hunting is about not letting animal populations grow and spread uncontrollably. If they did, then animals would come to our cities and highways and backyards because there would no longer be plants to eat and space to roam in the overpopulated woods. And this would lead to, for example, deer-related car accidents, where both animals and humans are in danger. Gamekeeping means protecting animals. It's about providing food and sheltered areas to animals in the wild, in their natural habitat. It means protecting animals from foreign predators, and especially during their breeding season when they have their babies. And I'm not saying that everyone here needs to pick up a rifle and go out hunting or become a gamekeeper. But I hope that we can all rethink our attitudes towards hunting and our relationship with nature. Do we take nature 
as a responsibility or do we take nature for granted? You see, hunting is about keeping animal populations manageable and gamekeeping is about keeping animal populations viable. And they're both needed, they intertwine, and together they create the system that our society, animals, and nature as we know it need. So when I think of hunting, I do think of my dad and grilling by the fire after a hunting trip and those frosty, peaceful woods. But I also think of responsibility. I think of a system that takes care of our ecosystem, because that's what hunting in Finland is. <laughs> 